see if that's what he meant, not for me. And sisters in Christ, on this most invite to gather in vigil and prayer, for this is the Passover of the Lord, in which, through word and sacrament, we share in victory over death. We the risen Christ. Let us hear the living deep in history. with the fire of your love and bring Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So did you
Christ yesterday, and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, All time belongs to him. All ages to be and power through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ, our Lord, guard and keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in darkness, dispel the darkness of our heart and minds. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God.
first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God he created them, male and female. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and every other living thing that moved upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed, seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps over the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. This is the word of the Lord. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth, Send forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew the, the face, face of, of the earth. earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Send, Send forth, forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, and, and renew, renew the face of the earth. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The water stood higher than the mountains. Send, Send forth, forth your spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew, renew the, the face of the earth. earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Send, Send forth, forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, o Lord and, and renew, renew the face, face of, of the earth. earth. How many are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Send, Send forth, forth your spirit, O Lord, and, and renew, renew the, the face, face of, of the, earth. the earth. Please stand to pray. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We sit for the second reading. The second reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 22. After these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I will show you. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. The Lord said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son your only son from me. 
And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of our enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve, Preserve me, me, God, I take, I take refuge, refuge in, in you. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. Preserve, Preserve me, God. Lord. I take, I take refuge, refuge in, you. in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve, Preserve me, me, God. Lord. I, I take, take refuge, refuge in, you. in you. We stand to pray. Almighty God, whose chosen servant Abraham faithfully obeyed your call, and rejoiced in your promise that in him all the families of the earth should be blessed. Give us a faith like his, that in us your promises may be fulfilled. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We sit for the third reading. flowed back 
and covered the chariots and horsemen, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. That day, the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. I will, I will sing, sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord, glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God and I extol him. My Father's God and I give him praise. I will I sing, sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord, glorious his, his triumph. triumph. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. The flower of his army is drowned in the sea. The deeps hide them. They sank like a stone. I will sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord, glorious his triumph. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in its power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crushed the foe. I will sing, I sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord, glorious his triumph. You will lead your people and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. I will, I will sing, sing to, to the Lord, Lord glorious his triumph. We stand to pray. Lord God, our Redeemer, who heard the cry of your people, and sent your servant Moses to lead them out of slavery. Free us from the tyranny of sin and death, and by the leading of your Spirit, bring us to our promised land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sit for the fourth reading. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord says this, everyone who thirsts come to the waters, and you that have no money come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? and your labour for that which does not satisfy. Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See. I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that, you do, that do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their faults. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, 
so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. salvation. Truly God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy, joy you will draw, you will draw water, water from, from the, the wells, wells of salvation. salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. With joy, joy you will draw, will draw water, water from, from the, the wells, wells of salvation. salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. We stand to pray. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that we may reign with the risen Christ in glory. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Amen. We sit for the epistle from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. certainly also be united with him 
in his resurrection. For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be driven away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. Because anyone who has died has been freed from sin. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin but live to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there's the place they laid him. But go, Tell his disciples and Peter that he's going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you. O Christ. Now we're going to bless the water. Sadly, my favourite bit of the Easter vigil can't happen. Uh, you, that's sprinkling all of you with holy water. Uh, never mind. We're making the best of it. Derek, could you come and hold this for me, please? A lot of water I could have been throwing all over you. <laughs> Praise God who made heaven and earth, who keeps his promise forever. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, was baptized in the River Jordan, 
We thank you for the gift of water to cleanse us and revive us. We thank you that through the waters of the Red Sea you led your people out of slavery to freedom in the promised land. We thank you that through the deep waters of death you brought your Son and raised him to life in triumph. Bless this water that your servants who are washed in it may be made one with Christ in his death and in his resurrection to be cleansed and delivered from all sin. Send your Holy Spirit upon them Bring them to new birth in the household of faith and raise them with Christ to full and eternal life. For all might, majesty, authority and power are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now we come to renew our baptismal promises. You'll need the green book and I need a green book too. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, we remember that through the Paschal mystery we have died and been buried with him in baptism so that we may rise with him to a new life within the family of his church. Now that we have completed our observance of Lent, we renew the promises made at our baptism affirming our allegiance to Christ and our rejection of all that is evil. Therefore, I ask these questions. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? Do you submit to Christ as Lord? I submit to Christ. Do you come to Christ the way, the truth and the life? I come to and now I ask you to make the profession of Christian faith into which you were baptised and in which you will live and grow. Do you believe and trust in God the Father who made all things? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed the world? I believe and trust. Do you believe and trust in his Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God? I believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This, this is, is our God. faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, we thank you for our fellowship in the household of faith, with all those who have been baptised in your name. Keep us faithful to our baptism, and so make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So as I venerated the cross on your behalf yesterday, so now I'll receive a token sprinkling on your behalf Imagine it coming all over you. <laughs> it's extraordinary, you can sprinkle inanimate objects, but not living people. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples, and he said to them, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the risen Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us acknowledge the presence of one another and wish each other happy Easter. Happy Easter. And then please be seated, and you may extinguish your candles now.
sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known to us in the breaking of bread, for you are our Lord for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal God. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in women and men the image of your glory. He has placed us once more in paradise and opened to us the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of Mary the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist our patron, of apostles and martyrs and all the saints, May praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. 
Amen. With the risen Christ present among us, we pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast.
Let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the blessing, just some words of thanks to everybody who spent a considerable part of this day getting the church looking as lovely as it is. Thank you very much to our servers and readers. It's always a bit nail-biting, the Triduum. It also goes on for a long time. And huge thanks to Kevin, uh, who has really put the whole thing together behind the scenes. Very much. I thank God that he's an ordinand. This is very good training for him. So, I hope to see some of you in the morning. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. I promise next year there'll be a drink in the vicarage. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, in the name of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Special. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say that's one we didn't get today, but one you didn't get to do today. <laughs> 